Hello and welcome to BRC 11's Year in Review. Tonight we're looking back at the top stories of 2013. We'll be your host for the show. I'm Vita McHale. And I'm Katherine Clark from National Headlines with local ties to county issues impacting your town. We are revisiting the top newsmakers of the year. We've arrived at number seven once again with a tragedy, but this time with a silver lining. In September, Warwick High School graduate Landon Nuss died after falling two stories from a building in Philadelphia. News 11 found out how the local teen changed one man's life forever. Following years of drinking, Mike Schaub knew his liver was not in good shape. And last year, he received a grim diagnosis. It was failing, it was cirrhosis, it was beyond repair. This past August, when Schaub was placed on the waiting list to get on the waiting list of liver transplant recipients, his quality of life was deteriorating. I consider myself very active, play golf, coach, and it was a chore to play golf and just do what I was normally, it, it really wasn't the way I wanted to live another 15 to 20 years. Little did he know he wouldn't have to. On the weekend of September 28, 19-year-old Landon Nuss was gravely injured after falling two stories inside an apartment building. It became clear to the Nuss family that Landon was not going to live. Knowing the teen was registered as an organ donor, they remembered a local man who needed a liver. We got to pick him. We got to take, we had the ability to put him at the top of the list and he got it and he called that day when Landon passed away and said, I'm going to get a new liver tomorrow. It's really happening. For them to even think about me, I mean, that's just crazy. That is, that says a lot for them. On September 30th, Shaw Bunter went to successful transplant surgery. He's slowly returning to his normal self. Now sober, he's on a mission. I basically was an alcoholic. And uh, so now I made the, I got my calling, I should say. I am now taking classes to become a substance abuse counselor. Schaub also plans to join Tina in becoming an organ donation advocate. And they'll do it all with a guardian angel by their side. Not only can it save lives, but it helps give a person who's lost someone some comfort and knowing that your light, your loved one lives on in somebody else. Landon's my brother. You know, he's sitting right here. So. For News 11, I'm Katherine Clark. Well, Catherine, that's a story that's definitely close to your heart. Right. I met with both of the families, and after meeting Mike Schaub and the Nuss family, can really see that they're bonded by this one person for life. It's really amazing. Definitely inspirational. 